and buckle up. Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome to another grocery day. The weather is finally starting to warm back up. You know, we had beautiful, beautiful weather, then it got really cold and now it's starting to warm back up. It's another beautiful day today and I'm so thankful for that. We're headed to Walmart to get our grocery pickup order. It's pretty simple this week. We should be moving into our new house this week. Yay! I <laughs> cannot wait. And so we're keeping it pretty simple as far as meal plan this week. Don't we always though? But we're keeping it pretty simple because I don't know exactly what night's going to be our first night in our new home and all of those things. So next week's grocery haul should be our first grocery haul in our new home. And I'm going to do all the stock up things, all the things we need for our refrigerator. All that's going to be coming in the next grocery haul. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you come back for that one. It is for sure going to be a fun one. Today's going to be a fun one too though. We always have fun around here, don't we? We're going to go get our order. And when I get back, I'll show you everything that I got. I'll go over this week's meal plan. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we spent this week. I'll pop it up right here. I spent $121, $101 ish on food and $20 on non-food. And then I'll go ahead and show you our running total for the month so far after three weeks worth of grocery hauls. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. And then, like I said, next week is going to be a stock up haul. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Pull it out, probably. It's coming. There you go. We could probably take the top off. Cut holder. Choose a thickness. Yeah. Whoa. and introduce myself in case you are new. My name is Tiffany and this is our small town life. A little bit of backstory for you. My husband Justin and I recently purchased a double wide mobile home, put it on a little bit of land that we're going to turn into our own one acre homestead. We're sharing all of that here on our channel. We're pushing to live a more self-sustaining, self-sufficient lifestyle and there's many reasons that that's been laid on my heart. One of those being the price of groceries at the grocery stores. We've been able to cut our grocery budget down significantly over the last year, year and a half, by making some changes. And we're really gonna push in this upcoming year to grow our own food and raise our own food as much as we can. If any of that sounds interesting to you, uh, consider subscribing and joining our family. We sure would love to have you. Now let me show you what I did get at the grocery store this week. Here's the meal plan for the week. You're only seeing six days worth here. Again, we're just trying to make it work this week. Ham and veggies, baked chicken. I got some chicken leg quarters for that. We didn't do steak last week. That's still in the freezer. We'll try to do that one night. Pizza, feed yourself, and takeout. There'll probably be another takeout night or another feed yourself night. We'll make it work. So like I mentioned, didn't get a whole lot this week. We're just kind of taking it day by day to see kind of how the week goes for us and when we get to move into our home. But I did, let's start with drinks. I did get some bottles of water. I actually got two cases of water. One of them is still out in the car because one of them is going to go to church. Justin noticed that we were running low on water at church. So I got one for here and one for church. Also got some Dr. Pepper cream soda and I got some Coca-Cola this week because they were slap out of Melly Yellow. <laughs> they didn't have any Melly Yellow so I got Coke instead. And then Fairlife milk for Justin and I got that Minute Maid berry punch juice for the kids i don't know it looked like it might be a nice treat for them so i got that i've got meat down here so we'll start with it i don't always have to buy a lot of meat because we do have meat in our freezer but chicken is one thing that we do not currently have in our freezer and it has been so hard to find at the grocery store another reason why i am really excited for our meat birds to get here 
and us start getting them growing so that we'll be able to fill our freezer with homegrown meat. But anyway, I did manage to get some chicken leg quarters this week. So I got a bag of those and every once in a while, the kids want me to get one of these Kentucky Legend hams. So I got one this week. They asked for it, so we got that. Someone mentioned last week about how I didn't buy any fresh vegetables and fruit. And I, I talked about it in the video. I said that I was going to go get a little bit of fruit at the store because I had forgotten it. But just in case you don't know, maybe you're new and you don't know this, we have a lot of preserved vegetables in our freezer and we have we have frozen vegetables we have canned vegetables stuff that we grew in the garden last year uh, stuff that my mom and stepdad grew in their garden and we preserved so that's why i don't have to buy just a ton of vegetable and vegetables and fruit we have frozen fruit as well but i do like to get fresh fruit from time to time we have a lot of strawberries left this week i don't know if you saw my last video where we made strawberry jam we've had we've had strawberries coming out of our ears because it's fundraiser time in our area and a lot of people do strawberry fundraisers and so we've had lots of strawberries to use we preserved some by making jam we have a lot to eat this week but I did get some grapes to have as well and then the Brussels sprouts to go with the dinner some string cheese Huddy man loves his string cheese this was the only substitution that I had this week I had ordered the dark chocolate and red berries I think and they substituted for the dark chocolate and peanut butter a couple of the plum organics pouches for white and several different flavors peach banana and apricot apple and broccoli apple spinach and avocado his favorite the banana and pumpkin and apple and carrot also got some strawberry yogurt this yogurt with this granola was just sounding really good to me this week. So I got that. Uh, some of these for Wyatt. The little crunchies, veggie dip. Y'all, every time I get these, my big kids want to eat them. They will go through them faster than I can feed them to Wyatt. So I also got some cheese puffs this week in hopes that they'll eat those and leave these for the baby. The last few weeks I've gotten some of these cereal bars and the kids have just loved them. They've been a nice little treat for them. So I got some more this week. This time I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Some of my favorite sourdough bread. I'm wanting some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches this week with that homemade strawberry jam. So got some of my favorite bread. Got a few of these Hillshire snacking plates. Got two for Justin to take to work to have to snack on. Also got him one of these to take to work and then I got both of the boys the older boys one of these and I got Audrey and I a Hillshire snacking plate just just some stuff to have as an easy lunch or to grab and snack on I got some pizza rolls to have as an easy lunch or maybe even a dinner on a night that we're moving stuff or have ball practice or something y'all we, we're keeping it easy right now hence the pizza rolls and the pizza. I got a pepperoni pizza and one of the Jack's cheese pizzas. For non-food this week, I got some paper plates. Also got Wyatt a sippy cup. He has done really good about drinking from a straw. So I got him a straw sippy cup. It's a Tommy Tippy. Is that not cute? I thought that was cute. Some shampoo. This is Audrey's favorite kind of shampoo. We're sharing a bathroom right now and so we've been sharing shampoo and conditioner. But once we get moved into our house, she'll need her own in their shower. So I went ahead and got her favorite kind. And then, like I said, we'll share it here. And once we get moved in a couple days, she can just put that in her bathroom. And I got some face wash for myself. This is not the one that I've been using. It's the same brand. It's just a different kind. This one's the Witch Hazel. I couldn't find the other one on the app. I've been getting, I think it's Rose Quartz. It's been working good for me. Couldn't find it, so I got this one. Maybe it'll do good, too. All right, we just got the groceries put up. I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Thank y'all for spending some time with us today, seeing what we got at the grocery store. We love you. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.
Bye, y'all.